the music show. We've got another guest with us today. This is Gussie. Hello. No one likes her. But <laughs> what we're going to do is, she, apparently she writes her own songs. She plays guitar. She does all this, hearty fartsy. Uh, we had Phil from the Beauty on here last week, so she's got to top them. So do you reckon you can? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, is that it? That is it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God. So tell us a bit about yourself then. Come on. Um, tell I'm the camera who you are. <laughs> My name's Gussie Stafford, um, I'm a singer-songwriter, I'm 16 years old, and that's what I do in my spare time. <laughs> oh, okay, so are you at sixth form or a college or anything? Yeah, um, I'm at Felix Lake Academy sixth form, and I'm doing music, performing arts, and production arts. Oh, how's that? It's good, yeah. Um, we get a lot of time in music to write our own songs and things like that. Oh, fabulous. So do you play anything else other than the guitar? I do a bit of everything. Oh. Um, I can play a bit of the piano, but I don't oh, really I can't music. Do that. <laughs> um, I can play drums. I kind of pick it up. So yeah. Um, now I hear you've got a friend called Megan, and she's yeah. not talented at all, apparently. She can sing, but she doesn't. Yeah. See, I I was told she's just a complete donut. <laughs> she's just a bit of a donut, yeah. Is is yeah? I I assume that was right. Yeah. Actually, she's here today. She is. Hey, Megan. Megan. There we are. <laughs> hey. <laughs> like a frittle woman. Anyway, back on with what we were talking about, because Megan's just a talentless yob. She's a yob for anyone out there, one of these people. <laughs> yeah, and if any of you are watching, take your hood down. You're inside. So then, what, what, is, what would you say is your biggest inspiration for the songs you write? It's going to sound like... I don't, I don't, it's I, not Angry Birds, is it? Yeah, <laughs> it's Angry Birds. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> it's, um, I don't know, I just see situations around me and, I don't know, everything. Peop uh, things other people are going through as well. Um, and when I see other artists, I'm just like, wish I could do that. And then I see. So, what, what, who's your favourite singer? And if you say someone bad, I'm kicking you out of the studio. Oh, great. Uh, <laughs> no pressure. I love Beyonce. <laughs> Try again. Okay, a cheering. <laughs> Try again. Uh, I don't know. Any uh, biggest inspiration who I listen to? I don't know. Everyone. That's no, better. I, everyone. See, now, if you wanted to just shut me up straight away, you should have just went, yeah, Motley Crue. Yeah. Have been like, yeah! <laughs> My inspiration is Motley Crue. Woo! <laughs> See, and there you go. And that just proves Motley Crue is dumb. And you cannot get anywhere without it. So listen to it. Mad, isn't it? This is live. Yeah. But they're loving it. They are loving it. Every second of it. Even the tech gal. In there. We can see her. Uh, <laughs> Don't ignore me. She's so impressed. She is, isn't she? She's my mum. She's fluffy. She is. She's a bit odd, but she's Not odd. she's harmless. So anyway, I believe that you are going to sing a song for us today. I am. Okay, what is that called? The other girl. Really? Yeah. Okay then. Well, if you want to get yourself all ready and shizniz. Okay. And I'll do something. Which probably involves moving off screen for a bit. <laughs> yeah. Peace.
take you to the same place as you took me? Do you text her like you used to text me? Bet you even cook her, baby. That was really good. And that you wrote that yourself? Yeah. And where did you write that? In my bed. I see. Yeah, sitting on my bed. You see, I always find that... Do you ever find that you write, you write like your favourite songs in the weirdest of places? Yeah. <laughs> where was the weirdest place you've ever written a song? Oh. On the toilet. Same. But except it's me with routines. All my ideas <laughs> to me come to me comes on the toilet. <laughs> It's like you just get this, you're just sitting there and you're like... Yeah. The actual... We won! Felix Girls Got Talent, just completely off subject. They were brilliant, I was there. But it was we really good. Beeping one. Because <laughs> we don't have a beeper, because we haven't got that high-tech equipment. Because we won't, get, we won't <laughs> buy it for some reason, but we don't have a beeper, so beep. And we won, and yeah, that routine came to me on the bob. It was a weird day. I think I fell asleep on a landing once. I did, and just for the yeah. Beep of it. And before I fell asleep, I was kind of like writing a song in my head. Oh, not about landing, so. No, oh. see, that's a shame because I I'd really want to write a song about a toilet. <laughs> I think you should. A dirty toilet. I, I've wrote a song about bagels. Bagels. Yeah. Someone asked me to write a song about bagels. So I did. Yeah. Joe Pitcher wrote a song about bacon strips. That was good. <laughs> that was really funny. I think we should get him to do it. And yeah, I'm gonna try and get him in here to sing bacon strips and nice cold pint. That's Pierce's song. Me and Joe Pitcher made that for oh, Pierce, right. nice cold pint. Takes ages. But still it's fun. Yeah. Alright. So where did you learn to play guitar? Um well my little brother got a guitar on his like something stupid like his fifth birthday and I used to always steal it off him and I never really learned I can't I, I just knew like there was one like thing where I used to just put my fingers all the time that was all I could play and then my dad got me a chord book mm. and I just learned from that and then I got my own guitar and then got other people to teach me <laughs> I see and who, who ta who's taught you some stuff who is like would you say was definitely a big help to you my little brother and Niall and Megan, even though she doesn't play guitar. Even though she's a talentless yo. Yeah, even though she's a talentless yo. Yeah. He's got funny I hair. He's got like crow's nest for hair. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. She's a bit of a sparrow, isn't she? <laughs> Look at her. She's got a little beat going. Oh, is that a nose? Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. <Thank> you. <laughs> I'm joking. I love you really, Megan. Love you too. Good. As long as we're keep it civil, guys. As long as we're there. So, I mean, she's on my music show. She has to do as I say. So, have I, am I slouching? Am I back in view? Good. Don't slouch. <laughs> so, have you ever performed anywhere other than here? Um. Yeah, I do all the like talent shows at school, and I think it was last year or the year before. Charlie Manning's had a children in need. And fundraising event. Yeah. And I did like a little set on that, and that was good. <laughs> yeah, we managed to raise quite a lot of money. Oh, good. How much did you raise? Exactly. I, oh, I don't know. But I Rounded up to the nearest ten. Minus seven. <laughs> Thousand. Good on you. Because we had those loads of people there. Excuse me, tech. You're not supposed <laughs> to be on the phone. <laughs> You're doing the sound desk. <laughs> <laughs> she turned the volume down there. She can't hear what we're saying. She can't. She's on the phone. 
in the middle of a recording session. She is on the phone. If Eric was here, he'd slap you thrice. <laughs> she's not even listening. She's not, is she? Because I am thin. Anyway, if she's, <laughs> that was not if she's on the phone, we'll carry on with yeah. what we're talking about. Yeah. <sighs> so then, so you learn from a book and other people. Yeah. You also, you, uh, you do different sets around. What do you hope to do in the future? Is this something that you want to pursue yeah. as a career? I, I don't really know anything other than singing and performing. But I think I, that would be what I would be happiest doing. Yeah. And I really want to do it. So what would, where do you see yourself in 10 years? On a stage performing, money. Yeah. Good. good. Keep believing in it, and you'll get there. Yeah. I mean, it's just like escape reality. When we first started, we we everyone told us we get nowhere, and you know we're doing all right. Yeah, you went to Miami. Exactly, and that was nice and sunny, so it wasn't all bad. <laughs> Got a good tan out of it. Yeah, I actually didn't tan that much. Oh, Scotty tanned a lot, but me and me, Aiden, and Aaron just stayed like white. Well, not white, because I'm not white as it is, but still. I've got a better tan than Megan, so it doesn't really matter. 